everyone, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a uh, working mom who does unboxings of lifestyle boxes, makeup boxes, makeup try-ons, just general like <clears throat> things like that. So today I'm going to go over this box and that is my FabFitFun edit cell um, that I just got last week. Uh, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I didn't <clears throat> go crazy this time. I didn't spend a couple hundred. I tried to be a little bit better, but I still have some really cool items. So let's dig into it. So for those of you that don't know, FabFitFun is a subscription service. And then recently, I think it was last spring, they started a um, uh, edit sale, basically where you could go in. And if you are a member of it, you get access to these like amazing deals on different products and they're not necessarily products they've ever had in their boxes previously. And so there are some really good deals and uh, I've had to kind of read myself in, but it's like a variety of things, everything from makeup to skincare to household goods, kind of the like, gamut of things. And so um, I spent just a little over $100 on this, so I was a little bit better. They have mystery bundles, they have like packages, bundles of things together. I didn't do a mystery bundle this time, like I said, I was trying to be good. So um, let's just kind of go in. So the first item I got was the, I'm gonna have this here. This is my little packing slip. So I, I can remember the names of these things. Unfortunately, I don't have the prices written down, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, let's dig in. So this is the, Halstein double pouch large wristlet in black. Um, when I first got it, it smelled really funky. Uh, it's been out of the plastic for a couple days now, but this is the size of it. It has a little wristlet here. Um, it is a vegan leather. It feels like a vegan leather. Um, but it, interestingly enough, I didn't realize it has a pullout pouch here that you can leave or take on. And then you can see it has like the cloth in there and then it has these kind of like metal handle here, which actually feels nice and heavy duty. Um, and then it has the main one here. So if you don't like that little thing, you can leave it off. And then it has like a little pouch here, same little fancy handle. And then inside here, it almost has like little wallet pockets, um, that you can put stuff in. I got this for like Christmas and, and Thanksgiving. There's lots of little parties and you want to go in your black little dress. If you guys haven't seen my video from last um, Stitch Fix, I'll try to link it somewhere in this video. But I have like this perfect black dress for holiday parties. So I got this because I was like, I need a little black wristlet to go with it. And I don't do well with clutches. I forget them. So something with a strap of some form so that I don't leave it around is why I got this. But this is like the perfect size. I can put a phone, a wallet, it, um, a few little essentials. I actually am very happy with this. It kind of has like a squishy part right here. Um, so that's the first item. The next item here is a bundle. Um, so I got one bundle. I forget what it was called. Let me see if it's on here. Um, they don't say what the bundle is, but it came with the Tea Time Tumbler, um, which is a FabFitFun brand. And I had been curious about this. So this is basically an infuser. You see here. Um, I've heard it's not so good to put hot water in here uh, because this plastic doesn't really protect your hands. Um, but I guess you could put warmer water in here, but then you have the tea diffuser. It's on the bottom here. It has a little plastic o ring. I have not tried this out yet. I'm curious at how this is going to work. And then on the top, you have this here. Now, um, let me see if it says it's dishwasher safe or not hand wash only. So that's something to be aware of. And then it has a little strap here, which I like. Now it came with this pumpkin spice tea and I did open this up to smell it. It is the perfect time for pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. It smells like pumpkin spice. It smells like, like you want to eat it. Um, so I have not tried it out yet, but I love anything pumpkin spice. This is a little bit smaller than I was thinking when you look at the things. I kind of wish now I had gotten a couple of these, but the idea is you put a teasp teaspoon, tablespoon, sorry, a tablespoon of that in here. You put it in there, you let it sit, it diffuses out, and then you have your little pumpkin spice. And then in the bundle also came this. This is the Beauty Craft Express Yourself Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and this thing on its own, I think wasn't very much in the cell, maybe like 
seven or five dollars for what it was it wasn't bad i think this thing usually retails in the 30 dollar range but really cute packaging the whole gist of this is basically it's an eyeshadow palette with coffee extract if you want it to smell like coffee it does not smell like coffee it comes with a mirror sorry i'm trying to not show my camera equipment and ring light back there and then you can see the colors in real life the colors are more pastel than this they kind of look a little bit more bold they're a very pretty muted pastel it's a nice shade range um, the only thing I will have to say is they are a lot smaller than I was expecting. Like each little square is a little, it's not a big deal. I tend to not go through palettes fast enough to really be concerned, but I'm going to pause this and do some, um, swatches and then show them on my arm real quick. All right. I am back with the swatches, um, playing with these. They are, uh, it's kind of a mix of, of, um, butteriness and some are, are a little bit more stiffer. Their mattes were uh, harder to swatch. These are the matte shades, which are the top shades here. They didn't swatch out as well. They felt harder um, to swatch. I'm gonna have to play with this palette. This is the middle row of shades. These are actually more buttery feeling. The shimmers seem to swatch better. They come off a little bit more buttery, which is good. Um, and then this is the bottom row, which is definitely more pigmented. The only one that had a hard time showing up on the pigment was this one here, this Raspberry Mocha Kiss. Um, so I'll be interested. It seems like the mattes may be a little bit harder to work with. The shimmers seem um, very buttery and easy to work with. So I definitely want to play with this. Um, and see so if you are interested in me doing a video on this palette let me know below i'm curious i definitely want to play with this but there are some pretty pretty colors here um definitely up my alley of color range it's definitely on the more warm side um no it doesn't smell like coffee unfortunately and the names are really cute they have like all these like names of coffee and stuff so if you're interested i know a lot of people were curious about this palette there's a few like old 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 reviews with all those people were affiliate links and i have no affiliate on these um products so i love to give like an honest review you know because i suspect this palette will pop up again in the future in one of these bad bit fun um cells so anyway moving on because i gotta go to work in a couple minutes so i can't do too long i got the socks so these were like a coveted item i stocked these items these are the halstein six socks six pack in blue i had the black one i dropped them and then i heard that they ran out of the blues and some people had got them in their thing and then didn't get them and i looked and they were on there and i got them and oh my gosh guys for five bucks these are amazing they are very soft and thin they are super duper cute. Look at these colors. Like you've got kind of like grayish ones and that. I love these. These are awesome. I'm going to definitely use these. In fact, I'm just going to open these here because I'll probably use them at work today. If you can't tell, I like that blue range and color. Let me get into them a little bit more here. But yeah, I kind of wish now I'd gotten the black ones as well, but I felt like I was sock hoarding. Um, but look how cute. They're striped. Oh my goodness. And then, um, yeah, I'm excited about socks. This is how I know I'm getting old. Um, gray ones and then charcoal ones. Cute. And then light blue. Adorable. Dark blue. And then these are gray stripey ones as well. I mean, these are a great deal. So I'm going to wear those today. I'm excited. All right. Next thing I got, which was just really curious and I was interested in this and I just went for it, even though I don't need any more eye products, is this Murad Professional Eye Lifting Firming Treatment. What I thought was interesting about this is it has the little pad. See this? And then you're supposed to put this eye lifting treatment on there and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. It's supposed to brighten and, um, do that. I love under eye treatments that you kind of just like the little eye patches. I can't get enough of those. So I thought this would be really fun. Um, I'll have to do a video on what I think of it later or put it up on my Instagram. But that product was one of the ones that I was like, okay, I really have to try it out. All right, getting into this. This is another one that I was just like, I have to try this out. This looks interesting. Evening Declox, Detox Clay Mask by This Works. Um, and this was interesting because it's not a lot here. It has this 
If I can get it open, it has this little brush applicator. You can see it says on off and then you squeeze it on here and then you go like this and put it on. Oop, hopefully I'm not getting stuff all over me. Nope. Um, I already put my makeup on for the day. I didn't want to mess it up. Anyway, so I'm curious. I love the fact that it has an applicator. I will have to see how this works. Um, but it's supposed to detoxify and get your skin all ready for night. And I love it works products. So I thought, hey, why not? All right. I did get a few more beauty products. I was curious on these. So I got the um, Tristique. There was like a little mini version of the highlighters. I do like cream highlighters. If you're not a cream highlighter fan, I probably wouldn't get these. But you can see they have like a little pencil here, a little roll up thing here. And you can put a little bit on there. They have this just really pretty shimmer. Look at that. That's really pretty. Um, I do find cream products tend to look a little bit better on my skin just because I've got dry skin. But that's a beautiful color. This color is the color in, let's see if I can find it, Maldives Luminescent. And then they have this Bondi Beach Glow. They did offer, I think, this color in a larger size, or maybe it was the smaller uh, or the other color, but you can see both are very wearable colors. Like I think I could pull off both. They're pretty. They're very pretty. So, and I like them. They will fit in your purse. Although I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys take highlighter along in your purse? Um, I don't usually, but I just thought that was interesting. All right. The next product here is the Tristique Matte Color Shiny Lip Balm. I don't know how you can be a matte and a sh uh, shiny lip balm but people swear by this. This is in the color Florence Fig, because, um, you know, I kept looking, there was a lighter shade. Uh, this is a little darker than I was thinking, but it's a beautiful color, and it is definitely more on the matte, but it's got that balmy feel, so it's really pretty. Um, I am actually not wearing it, but that's a really nice color. And then it's really cool, magnetic, so that's cute. Um, definitely something I can throw in my bag. I kind of wish I'd gotten the lighter color as well. May do it if it comes around again, but both of these seem like really nice products. All right, and then my final item, which, okay guys, I had done a previous video where I had gotten the 10 degrees cooler oil, and I got the Midnight Oil in Corsica, which is the blue one that smells like rotten popcorn but it makes my face feel amazing. Like I've been using it and, um, you know, I still have quite a lot of it left and I only use it at night because it has a very strong smell. And then, you know, like I don't mind it when I'm asleep and I wake up and my skin looks amazing. Now, everyone had talked about the other oil, which is the 10 degrees and luminous face oil. And it smells apparently amazing. So I'm starting to get low on my daytime face oil. And I thought that would be a great oil to get for my daytime. It's not a cheap oil. It's like a $23 oil, even on sale. I was so excited because I was like, oh, I really like the night oil. They have it back. Let me get it. This is what they sent me. <laughs> this, this is not my face oil. And I was really like confused when I saw this. This is the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. They gave me the wrong item. I can't use this. This is an acne treating item. I don't get acne. I occasionally get a pimple. I'm not allergic to the main ingredient, which is salicylic acid, but it'll dry the ever living crap out of my skin. So I got this product and I'm like, I didn't order this. This is like a $5 item. Where's my oil? So I, I texted him on um, chat and the, the guy was very nice and was apologetic and basically was like, whatever with this item and said, we will send you a new one. So we'll see. I have all the text chat. They email me the, the text chat uh, conversation and they said it could take up to two weeks to mail out. So I'll have to check back in and see if they actually did it. I'm hoping this is the first time I've ever had to meta mess up, but I'm hoping they have it and send it because obviously if they can't, I need a refund. That was a lot of money. Um, this is going to go into a giveaway because Juice Beauty products are amazing from what I've heard. I can't personally use this on my skin. Nobody I know can use this on my skin because I don't know a lot of people who have acne. Um, so I will put this in my giveaway. This is a nice, nice item. I think this normally retails at $30. So yay, my confusion is someone's gift here. When I do, I think I'll do a giveaway when I hit 200 subscribers. I'm getting to 100, and, I think I was up to 140 last time I looked. So I'm close. And um, I am starting to put away stuff for another giveaway. Um, 
but anyway, tell me what you guys think. Did anyone get the same products and like them? Um, um, I was pretty happy, minus the fact that I didn't get my facial oil, but I, you know, I had them for a while and this is my first mix up. I, I feel like it's not too bad, but I'm pretty happy. I'm excited. I think I'm going to use all these products. I was proud of myself for kind of reining it in a little bit. I know it's not as exciting on the video, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave me comments. Um, and as always, I'll be back for another video. Thanks.